Nathan Lamy here, Urban Boxing Studios. Today I'm going to give you a drill um, which is great for smaller fighters fighting a, a taller fighter um, to help them stay in the pocket. When we stay in the pocket, when we fight, basically the pocket is anywhere within arm's reach where we can get hit. Um, for, for this drill we want to teach um, the smaller fighter, once you're in there, to, to enable you to stay in there, send as many shots as you can and get out. So a couple of drills for you to work out at home, work on the heavy bag, you can shadow box them, um, give it a go, let us know what you think. Okay, here's your drill. To set the drill up, we're gonna work a jab cross. Our jab cross gets us into range, okay? Jab cross. From here, we're going to slip to our right and roll under. Okay, so we go, jab, cross, slip, roll under. Our counter off our roll is going to be a hook, cross. Then we're gonna to slip to our left, roll under, cross, hook. Okay, at full speed. Jab, cross, slip, roll, cross, roll, cross, hook. Okay, one more time. Jab, cross, slip, roll, hook, cross, slip, roll, cross, hook. Okay. When we work in this drill, it's really important we think about uh, our movement and the distance in our movement. We see a lot when we work in the heavy bagging classes, a lot of our members will take big sweeping movements as they're slipping and rolling. The reality is we only have to miss a fist, okay? So we have to move six inches, six inches is enough, okay? So all we need is a tight little slip, tight little roll. That keeps us loaded nicely to send our counter shots, okay? If we go too wide, number one, we're too slow. Number two, we're likely to lose our hands from our guard and be open, and we're less likely to be able to counter and hit our opponent. So make sure those movements are nice and tight. For our second drill, we're going to increase the difficulty a little bit. Remember when we said at the outset, it's, it's really difficult to get in the pocket. And once we're in here, we want to make sure we're maximizing our time in striking range. Um, so in this drill, we're going to add in a couple of cheeky little punches um, off our slips and rolls that keep our opponent occupied, maximizes the time that we're in striking range and it makes us a little bit more awkward to fight, okay? A little bit more advanced in the drill. So on this one, we're going to again set up with a jab cross. From here, as we slip, we're gonna to jab to the body. Roll under, and we're going to hook cross. From there, we're slipping off our cross. As we roll under, we're gonna to hook to the body, cross, hook, cross, okay? So let's go again, one more time. So, we're going to jab cross. As we slip, jab into the body, roll under, hook cross, slipping off our cross. From here, we're gonna roll under, hook to the body, cross, hook, cross. Okay, now, at the end of the drill, it's really important that we have an, an exit and an escape. So from here, you're going to roll back out of range. Okay, now at full speed, it goes. Jab, cross, slip, jab to the body, roll under, hook, cross, slip, hook, cross, hook, cross, and roll under into a safe range. Did you like today's drill? Did you manage to master it? Let us know how you got on in the comments below. We'd love to know how well you did. Thank you for watching today's video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel. Make sure you press the notifications bell. Be the first to know about new videos as they go online. We post every day, so there's always fresh content. See you soon.